All right, you guys. Uh, recording this right now is because uh, I'm hearing some weird shit in the basement. Uh, it's raining cats and dogs outside. It's just a storm is making me uh, hear things downstairs. And I'm not going to lie. It just drip sounds like a circus uh, down there. So I'm going to go check it out. I have a feeling there's something weird down there. And if there is, I'm recording it just in case if this is my last day and I die. And I need this laying around so whoever finds me can kind of have an idea of what's going on. And they can get the hell out of there. So come with me and uh, let's just see what happened. Junkies, and welcome to Horror Junkies 509. Sorry, Kyle the 13th isn't here today, so I'll be filling his shoes. I know what you're looking for. I know what you're waiting for. It's not a Horror Junkies 509 video without the chain, am I right? You know, not my style, but I'll do it just for today. If you guys remember from Halloween, I happened to mention a such an action figure review that I was going to come to you and do. And I'm going to keep that promise. So today is that day. <laughs> you want to know what my name is? Well, that's just a problem. I haven't come up with one yet. <laughs> so, let's just skip the intro and go right into the review. From what you remember, I promised I would review my friends. 1980 or 1990 Pennywise and the new remake 2017 Pennywise. So let's dig right into these wonderfully crafted action figures. <laughs> let's see the fun that's inside. Okay. I got the action figure knife, so let's dig right into the fun. So, first thing first, let's look at the packaging because that's what Kyle the 13th would do, is it not? All right, we got front, which is like the cover from the DVD cover, looking good. But then we got the back with great pictures of the action figure of Pennywise. <laughs> Sorry, I had a little bit too much to eat today and it's still just ever so good. All right. Right in the window, go ahead and check out what we got here. Gotta love the picture from NECA and Real Toys. They always do such a great job. And now, let's just check this thing out. All right, here we go. And as you can see, Horror Junkies 509 Call of 30. Let me use all this stuff. Where is he? Is he, you ask? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Oh, boy. It's hot in here. My makeup is running. Oh. All right, fellow junkies. So, let's look at the background. It looks like the sewer from the movie. Not a bad choice at all, I would say. So, you pull them out and you see all of this great stuff. Yeah, look at my friend and all his clowny glory. Yeah, yes. All right, let me show you all that it comes with. First of all, let's look at the action figure because I believe that's how we do this. Okay, this is going to be a complicated one. And since this is my first action figure review, this might be a little interesting. But I want to go ahead and show all the balloons that come with this great thing. And right here comes the little boat, the SS Georgie, if I do remember so. But look at all those balloons. Oh, aren't they pretty? I like the red one. I like red balloons. Sorry, it's these wire twist ties. I'm not so good at them, okay? All right, here we go. Now let's pull out our good old buddy, Penny. All right, you guys, so to get right into this, I'm looking. You know, he's got a little bit of art more articulation than I figured he would. Whoops, my makeup's flubbering off on him. Oh boy, that might not be good, huh, kids? 
Let's just go ahead and wipe that off so we don't have any more mishaps. All right, sculpt on him. Looks absolutely wonderful. His costume is on point. Oh yeah, that is just stuff right there. Uh, what we got? We got a good head swivel. We got kind of a mid midriff swivel as well. So for you people that really like to pose these things, it's gonna be great. You got your arm in and outs. You got. Let's see the elbow, and it looks like you even have a wrist joint, which is, wow, wow, that is really great. All right, wrist swivel, and you got the hip, hips, and I think, oh, nope, they do not move together. And they got the knee joint and the ankle joint, oh, yeah. So that's what you got with good old Pennywise, yes, yeah, sir. What does he come with, you ask? Let's dig right in. First, we're going to do the alternate heads. So we got a very happy Pennywise. <laughs> Don't we like it when he's happy, kids? That means he's eating children. All right, now we got the one where he kind of starts turning into the creature with his teeth showing. Hopefully that's coming in good for you guys there so you can see that. And we got the one where he's getting beat up at the end there. Oh yeah, look at the damage. He's not a happy clown there. Not at all. <laughs> Alrighty. He also comes with some alternate hands. Got a bunch of clown hands and he's got the monster hands as well. I will show those off at the end on the turntable. Don't you worry about that. But I better show this. He comes with the little sound maker he has in the library when he's like, beep, beep. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> All right, you guys. So let me show you some great detail of this action figure. <laughs> figure from NECA and Real Toys. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. It's got great sculpt. It's got great articulation. It's got m great, and I mean great, accessories. And I love it. But it does not stand for shit. If you guys have this and you've taken it out of the box, let me know how yours stands. I had to steal a stand from another action figure to make this guy stand. I don't like that very much at all. But... Leading into this, you guys, you need to be very careful when you replace your heads because it's very difficult. They need it very difficult, and that makes me angry. So, that's another downfall of this action figure. But, overall, still highly enjoyable. What am I going to rate this one out of 10? I'm going to give it a 7. A 7 out of 10 because of the difficulty replacing the heads. I felt like I was going to break it. I think I tore some of the hair off of the, one of the heads, but nothing officially broken. Okay? So, it, 1990, 7 out of 10, I recommend it. But, 
heed my warnings. Doesn't stand very well. Replacing heads is very difficult and sometimes damaging. The hands are okay, but the accessories are beautiful. All right, didn't he look just great? Sad to say though, the 1990s Pennywise doesn't like to stand very good, no, no. So, instead of wasting time, let's go ahead and dig right in to or 2017 Pennywise. Sorry, <laughs> I'm not so good with dates. All right, let's do this right again, one more time. Are you still with me? All right, let's clown around some more. So, taking a look at the box, we got a great cover art of the cover with me, or not me, my friend Pennywise dragging poor little Georgie into the darkness. Got a red balloon, though. And then on the back, we got a lot of great pictures of the action figure we'll be opening right now. So, let's go ahead and open this window, see the awesome picture of Pennywise, and then the good-looking action figure right next to it. That's exactly what we're going to look at today, right now. So stick with me here on Horror Junkies 509. I got the knife. Let's go. <laughs> I'm excited to see if this one will stand a little better. I don't like it, action figures not standing properly. Ha! All right. Figure. And like always, we want to do the background, which looks like it's the house from Kneebold Street, which is another great background. These are great for if you want to display your action figure with something behind them. I highly recommend it. It's looking good. <sighs> oh, very nice. NECA and Real Toys know exactly what they're doing. I highly recommend all their action figures. Go and buy them. I will wait. Ah, time's up. Let's go. Pennywise 2017. Getting a good look at what he get right out of the box. Like last one, we got some alternate heads. We got a red balloon. I love red balloons. <laughs> and we got alternate hands. And we've got the SS Georgie yet again. But let's take a better look. Another wire twist tie! Uh! Ah, no, no, stay calm, he's our friend. He's our friend. Got it. Okay. Come here, my friend. Oh, yeah. I really, really dig the scope on this guy. Wow. All right. Take a look at that, junkies. That looks awesome. So articulation, you got the fluff swivel. This thing moves. Head movement. Got shoulder good. Uh, you got an elbow joint. And you got another the other joint to kind of like so he can bring it, his hand to his face a lot better. Uh, you got the wit wrist swivel. Uh, yeah, you still have the abdomen twist. Oh, yeah. You got the, the hip joints. You got the knee joints. The double knee joints. Uh, then you got the, the wrist joint, or the ankle joint, sorry. It twists and moves back and forward. Look at his shoes. Aren't those great? Yes, I do say so. Let's see if he stands. So far, he stands way better than 1990. Still standing. All right, let's get a good close-up of his face. Do the alternate faces first. I really like this one. It's a very nice, hi, I'm Pennywise. Can I eat ya kind of face? I like it. Yes. And then we've got the one where he's like, he starts turning into the monster. He's like, ah, why can't I eat ya? I'll chase you until you're dead. That's what that face says. Yeah, that's what I see. <laughs> now it's got a smirky asshole. Look at that. He's just smirking like, I will get you in your sleep. Like a Freddy Krueger or something. But he's not Freddy Krueger, not even a little bit. All right, this one doesn't come with a ton, but that's okay. We got the balloon, the red balloon, and I love it. And then we got the SS Georgie, like I showed you, and two alternate hands. All right, you guys, let's get a nice close-up of this action figure. Oh, yeah.
right, fellow junkies, and for my final thoughts on IT Pennywise 2017 NECA Real Toys action figure, like I say, it's got a great sculpt. It doesn't have a ton of accessories, but, you know, sometimes that's not a bad thing. Too much stuff is sometimes a bad thing. But, for what it does have, I think it's great. The head's way easier to replace than the 1990s one. Honestly, my only complaint for this one is getting the balloon and tied it inside his pinched hands was a pain, but not that bad. I got it, and now it's probably never coming out. Hmm. Not too many things to complain about this one. Like I said, replacing the head was easy. Replacing the hands was easy. The accessories are not so abundant that I got them laying all over the place. I'm going to give this one a 9 out of 10. Review, rating, whatever you want to call it. Ah, you're tearing my ear off and my hair. What I have left of it. <sighs> it, Pennywise, 2017. NECA Real Toys action figure, 9 out of 10. Definitely recommend it. Go buy it. <laughs> and so that is my review on the Pennywise action figures, boys and girls. So I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments what you think of me. Because if not, Kyle will never let me come back. Uh, uh, uh. What the hell? Hey! Who opened my toys? Well, I guess he said he was going to do this, so... That's going to do it for me, you guys. Horror Junkies 509, Cal 13, signing out. Just until next time, and you guys already know it, I've been sentenced to life. I am a whore lifer. Just tell me, was there a clown in here? Yeah, I sure already know the answer to that. You guys have a killer day.